Hey guys, it's me again. I'm on the bludge. That's right. I'm making another video about you know stepping down and moving away from the movement. And um, I, now that I've slagged off Indie Rose, uh, and she used to be the one that set up the GoFundMe accounts, you know, and stuff like that, kept me in food and a roof over my head because I'm too lazy to get a job. And, well. You know, I called her a slut and a whore. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe, maybe she was a bit pissed off about that. Not setting up no GoFundMe account now. Anyway, you know. <laughs> um, but anyway, you know, the main thing is, like, um, I'm moving away from the movement again. Part seven. Yeah, and I think it needs to be a political thing. And I think people like Blair would be good in politics, even though he's got convictions for arson. And even though Neil Erickson's got convictions for harassment, they'd be great in politics. I mean, of course that makes sense. That's, I've got an awesome understanding of politics in Australia. And, um, you know, anyway, um, I just want to give some shout-outs to some people and some fuck-offs. Mainly fuck-offs. Um, uh, Ralph Sermonara, like, Jesus Christ, man. You're batshit fucking crazy. Have you had a look at the shit you're posting? I mean, have a look at this. All you're doing is walking around the streets in the rain and picking at posters. Like, that's not the kind of movement I thought I'd be a part of. Like, and then you, you're picking at posters and calling Aboriginals racist fucking dogs. I swear to God, if I fucking see us in Canberra, I'm going to make a fucking beeline for your dogs. 26th of fucking January, meet at the block Redfern, eh? So you can go to Redfern to cause some fucking racial tensions there. You fucking racist fucking dogs. Yeah, I know. I've made, you know, racist videos about Aboriginals before, but, I mean, like, fucking hell, Ralph. You're walking around the streets, like, you know, you're just picking up posters and shit and saying that, that you're going to meet every Aboriginal person in Redfin on the 26th and, and you're going to fucking make a beeline for them? Like, Jesus, man. What the fuck are you thinking? Like, I just... I, I, I don't understand where you're coming from, you know? You're just a stupid, um, obese um, bloke that even you, your wife can't even stand being around you, Ralph. Like, she has to take off, you know, every night to get away from you and your weirdness. Just, you know, you're a shit dad. Everyone says that Neil's a shit dad, and he is. But you're the shittest dad of them all. Ralph, you are like the shittest dad ever. Like I, I just, I, I just think I need to get away for a while, maybe seek some psychological help, and then, oh, these fucking planes going overhead make so much noise in the background and shit in Kuma, and like, yeah, I, I, I just think I need to get away because I'm probably a little bit mental, you know, a little bit mental, um, and that's it for me, folks, you know, so. You know how it goes from here on in. If you want to donate some cash, like donate some cash. Like I, I, I look like I'm going to cry right now, but I'm not. I won't cry. I won't cry for Australia. Not for Australia, mate. Australia cries for me. Um, if you want to donate some cash, get in touch with me. And you know, otherwise, <laughs> well, oh, yeah. And I, I'm the great Aussie patriot without a page. See you later, patriots. Love you and shit. And I'll be back. Probably in about two days' time when, when I get me. Do you hear that sound? That